Hi, this is Mathieu Frémo, aka Framox. I am a motion designer from France, so sorry for all the mistakes I could make and my really bad English accent. Uh, this video is a complete overview of my latest uh, toolset for After Effects called Springy FX. As its name may let you guess, um, this uh, toolset will allow you to create various effects with a nice springy, meaning um, elastic and jiggling delay uh, with it to create really nice um, secondary motion on your motion graphics pieces. Before diving into the toolset itself, uh, let me show you how to properly install it inside your After Effects application. So you have the zip uh, folder that comes from the website. Just double click on it to unzip it. I will end up with um, four elements. Um, the first thing to do inside After Effects, which uh, I will um, launch right now, is to ensure that uh, your preferences are correctly um, set up. So to do so, um, let's wait a few seconds. Okay. So in your After Effects application, just go inside your Preferences, General tab, and ensure that the Allow scripts to write file and access network option is enabled like this. So you can close it. Then click on the file menu, search for the script submenu, and run script file. It will prompt you to choose a, a, for a file. Sorry. So um, just search for the folder I've just shown you uh, a few seconds before and uh, just click on the springy fx pe installer point gsx where pe the two letters pe stand for pseudo effects so click on open it will open up um, this uh, little window and click on install springy fx when the installation is said complete, like this, you can click on OK and close the window. Then close your After Effects application. And all you have to do now is to uh, select both the Springy FX GSX plus the Springy FX Assets folder. So I will select both of them. Right click and copy it and go to the um, application folder on a Mac, search for your um, current, current uh, version of After Effects. For me, it's the CC um, here version. I will click on the script um, folder and search for the script UI panels folder. I will then paste the two elements like this and you will have now the springy fx gsx file plus the uh, assets folder like this in the script ui panels once all of this is down you can close all this and we start after effects once your application has restarted you will find the springy fx toolset in the window menu right here so um, let's click on it and you end up with this nice ui panel which consists of a bunch of buttons with nice and um, tiny icons you can uh, dock it uh, wherever you want uh, inside your after effects layout you could for instance keep it in a row arrangement like this if you want to have in a horizontal layout for instance, you could place it like this, but I really prefer to have it in a vertical way, just right um, next to the effect control panel. So I will place it like this on the left. 
and you end up with this arrangement. But, but if you resize it, you read, you will um, have the UI rearranged like this, which is really nice and really cool. As you can see, the name appear um, next to each icon, which is really convenient um, if you start to learn uh, the toolset for the first time. So I will leave it as it is uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, but uh, when you'll be more comfortable with my toolset, you'll be able to, um, to make uh, all the um, text disappear by resizing it like this. It will allow you to make much more room for you to work with your After Effects composition. So it's okay for me to leave the uh, text for the tutorial, so I will leave it like this. So we can now uh, start with the explanation of what each button does. So let's go ahead and get starting. The UI consists of exactly 10 buttons, like this. The last one, the very last one, um, the bottom one, or the right one, if you have a, a no horizontal layout, is just the help and information button. If you click on it, you will end up with um, a panel that show you, um, that shows you, sorry, um, a brief summary of what my uh, toolset does and how it works, basically. You have uh, some nice um, information about the shortcuts on uh, several buttons. Not any uh, buttons have shortcuts, but there are some of them that use some shortcuts, so you can refer to this uh, to know the, which one use ones. And you have some additional information, like the website uh, URL and the author information. I will close it so it's not uh, that much interesting for the moment. So um, the nine other buttons are the core of the uh, toolset. To help you um, understand exactly how the eight ones that uh, begin from band deformer uh, until the custom effect, so the eight ones right here, I need to explain you how the very first one um, works. It's a bit different from all the others, as you can see in the um, label text here. So for instance, the band is a deformer, the shear is a deformer, the squash and stretch is also a deformer if you uh, alt-click on each of the buttons. So if you alt, um, if you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard while pressing any of this uh, button, it will open up a nice summary of what each button um, is and works. So it's really convenient um, in order for you to learn my toolset um, as quick, as efficiently as possible. So as you can see, the squash and stretch is a deformer as well as the band deformer, the shear deformer, the jiggle deformer. Each time I maintain the Alt key on, your cable, um, on my keyboard, so I'll click on it and the bulge deformer is a deformer too, the liquid deformer too, and the custom effect is also a deformer. So the eight buttons here are deformers. So it's, it's um, just meaning that it will um, use some After Effects, distort effect to make all this uh, work. Um, and the difference of the first button, which is not a deformer, it's a parent constraint. So the term constraint here is really important. So I will begin with the very first button, parent constraint. So it will help you to understand how all that's what will work uh, after that. 